So what we thought we'd start off with was to, how can that all come together? And we looked at what if search meets natural user interfaces, what could that be in the future? So Nate and Mark, our friend Nate from uh, Fast Microsoft and Mark from EMC, what do you have to show us? We have something very interesting to show you folks. Um, so the theme of the conference is engage the user. And uh, I think the contention here that we're trying to put out there is that search drives that. The search technology drives the process of creating an experience that will truly engage your users. But there are other technologies. And um, one of, the, of course, as uh, Bjorn mentioned, are natural user interfaces. And uh, an example of that are the, some of the interfaces that we've seen out in the partner pavilion at places like the Fast Innovation Center and an ex another example at the uh, EMC Consulting Booth and a few others as well. But in particular, there's one that I want to draw your attention to. Um, it's uh, based on some technology from Microsoft called Microsoft Surface. How many folks have actually seen the demos that are back in the partner pavilion? So a good, a good number of you, but there's a, a fair of you. How many have actually heard of Microsoft Surface and are aware of what the technology is? Okay, there's, a, there's enough of you that have, and I'm, I'm going to just take a few minutes to explain the concept. So to my right here, you'll see this device that's been sitting up here for the last couple days. This is a Microsoft Surface device, and essentially what it is, it's, it's a Windows device in the form factor of a table. And the surface of the device, the, the top of the device is actually the interface. One, it's a touch interface, so you can interact with the application by touching and through gestures. There's a couple things that make the Microsoft Surface interface a little different than what you might be familiar with in other touch natural interfaces. One is it's multi-user, so several users can interact with it at once. And the second thing is that it actually has a camera system built into it, so it has object recognition. So it's, anybody who's used this will appreciate that uh, it's a very, very intuitive type of interface. And actually, to uh, echo what Don Tapscott said on Monday, it's, it really is downright fun to use. But there's a couple things that really haven't been touched on with regard to these kinds of interfaces. Uh, first off, most of them have been geared towards commercial applications, the games and concierge type of applications. And second, there's been very little work and thought done to how search can be brought into these experiences. So that's what we're going to show you today. So, so joining me up on the stage here is uh, Mark Stone from EMC Consulting, and we've collaborated on a demonstration that combines Microsoft Surface with Search. And Mark, uh, we need to get into character now, because we are the actors in this little script. So I'm going to put my acting face on now. Yeah, and, I need uh, to put your, you need to take advantage of all those, uh, all that uh, thespian training you've gone through. So the scenario is this. We are a couple of business colleagues. We are salespeople. Mark is the lead sales representative from a company called Litware, who sells medical equipment to hospitals. And I'm his able assistant, uh, and we're preparing for a sales meeting. So we are sitting in the conference room. We have this device and this application in front of us, and we are getting ready. So what is our first order of business, Mark? Well, and the first step is uh, I need to actually log myself into the device. So I'm going to throw my card down there. Um, and what I want to try and do is, uh, I need to do a search for a company called Crystal Care. Um, we just got the new account, and we need to do a bit of research on it. Um, so my able assistant's going to help me here. Um, mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do here is pull out some lists of my active accounts um, that I've found, and I'm actually going to drag Crystal Care out and run a search there on the company. So it looks like now I've got some results here. I've got some news articles um, and some videos pull this out here. So what we're trying to find out is a bit of uh, information when we prepare to work with these guys uh, and understand a little bit about uh, what they're going through. So it looks like there's some job cuts going on here. Um, let's take a there look. There are lots of changes at Crystal Care, trying to increase the quality of patient care and also able to return value to That's the shareholders. Of uh, we've appointed a new CFO. <laughs> All right. Well, I think maybe I'm going to go ahead and store this and make sure that we've actually got all of the information uh, that we want in my card here. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Now, uh, what I think we need to try and do, though, is uh, it looks like she's talking a lot about the new uh, CFO at Crystal Care. Yes, uh, Kathy Gills. And I see her right here. Let's uh, see what we can learn about Kathy. So, yep, Kathy is indeed the CFO. And uh, we got some contact information of, from her, and we've seen some other colleagues that uh, have worked with her. Let's see if we can learn something more about Kathy. Interesting, I'll take this away from you here. So, 
it's interesting actually. When, when we take a look at this, uh, nothing really stands out to me from a results perspective. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and see if we can drill down into it and take a look beneath the covers. Uh, Union Hospital Health, there uh, seems to be a prevalent concept there. It is. I wonder if, uh, if Union Hospital and Christopher have something to do with each other. Let's find out. Let's take a look at this here. Mm, not a lot there. No, I think we may be way off there, actually. Um, I wonder maybe if uh, Union Hospital and Kathy, I mean, she is a new CFO, so maybe there's something going on there. Well, yeah, a little bit of information. There is a little it's bit of PowerPoint. There. Well, what we're trying to do here is, um, is, is build our deck to work with them. So I wonder, uh, it looks like we've done a pitch to Kathy before here on Union Hospital, which must be where she worked before. So let's take this out and uh, see I we recognize that PowerPoint. Do you? Yes. Wh who wrote this PowerPoint then? I don't know. Let's see what we got in there. Looks like one of our stock PowerPoints. Interesting. Um, let's find out who, who uh, wrote it. Oh, it's Carmen. <laughs> Carmen's a troublemaker. Well, she looks like she's online, so we could contact her. Okay. Let's see if she's uh, online. Hi, this is Carmen White. Oh, uh, I don't want to talk to you, Carmen. Yes, that's correct. Kathy <laughs> okay. really liked that slide. Interesting. Well, maybe, uh, maybe we should keep this as well, then. Um, throw this into the card here. Well, we've got a good presentation. We've ca collected some facts. Um, you're going to get ready for the meeting by collecting some more information about Kathy. But what I'll do is I'll work on the presentation. So if you wouldn't mind just, uh, uh, just tossing that over to me. No problem. Just take it out here. Take it out and throw it over to you there. Great. Thank you. And I'll take that with me. And we'll meet again in a couple days. Wonderful. All right. Thanks a lot. We're going to win this deal, I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. So. You can be more enthusiastic than that. This was unbelievable, <laughs> in my opinion. So, but what if we went through that fairly quickly. Um, so what's the question to ask? Well, one question is, where was the search? Well, the search was everywhere, pretty much everywhere in that application. From the point that Mark dropped his card on there to the interactions that happened in between and for me picking up the card at the very end. And what you'll hear from Bjorn is that a key part of this application, and really any application that's successful with search, is that it closes that loop. Now, it's fair to say that with this application, we're really just scratching the surface. Yes, that's a pun. We're scratching the surface, literally. There are so many things that we've learned in the process of building this application. It took four weeks to assemble this. And I want to make something very, very clear. This is a live application. What you saw there was not an illusion. There were actual searches happening. There are connections to a fast ESP server that's running in Boston. Those are live queries. Of course, the surface device is actual and real. Uh, the connections to information on there. We had uh, video coming from one of our partners, EveryZing, uh, including annotation of the video. We have uh, data coming from another partner, Dow Jones Factiva. This is a live demo, and I strongly encourage you, if you have time, to go at the break and check out both this demo and the demos that are being put up in the Fast Innovation Center. Thank you so much, Nate. Thank you.